Okay. Uh, so you are talking to Alia. Uh, normally okay. delivered uh, uh, baby delivered normally and uh, baby is about to discharge at uh, 48 hours of age and uh, uh, the registrar noticed that baby had significant jaundice up to the legs and uh, hmm. things of uh, that things that baby needs investigation and phototherapy. So talk to mm -hmm. the Talk to the mom. It's a physiological jaundice, right? But, right? No risk baby factor needs, like baby this. Baby needs phototherapy. It is up to legs on day 48 hours. is not normal. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So, what is the age of the baby? 48 hours. Normally, 48 hours. Have no antenatal significant uh, history. Just give me one, no, I take one half minute. minute. I'll just I take one organize. Minute, no problem. I'll go. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hello, good morning. Good morning, doctor. Uh, I'm Dr. Tamanna, one of the pediatric register here. Hope I'm talking to Alice Mo. Yes, yes, doctor. How may I address address you? You can call me Alia. Alia. Uh, so nice to meet you. And first of all, congratulations uh, so having a so lovely baby. You must be very happy. Yes, doctor. Yes, I am very happy, but simultaneously, I am a little upset also. Uh, can I know uh, which reason is upsetting you? Actually, the sister just told me that uh, actually I was uh, due for getting discharged, and sister told me that uh, you want to talk to me that my baby needs to be kept in the hospital further. Mm -hmm. So, we already had plans like welcoming the baby. And relatives yeah. are there at home. I'm really upset, mm -hmm. doctor. Yes, I, I can understand this. You were very happy and you had another preparation. But uh, let me reassure you that um, Ali's condition is uh, stable now. I hope you visited Ali today. Yes, yes, doctor. He is with me only. Yes. So uh, the condition Ali is developed uh, is called neonatal jaundice. Have you heard about this uh, condition before? Yes, doctor, I have heard jaundice, like it, uh, uh, there is some uh, thing called as bilirubin in the blood. Like, but, but I have heard that this is a normal thing for the babies. Then why you want to keep me in the hospital, doctor? Uh, yes, I am glad that you know very well. Uh, so, Alia, uh, actually, uh, if you see there is a chart, okay, can I draw it for you? Yes, yes, doctor. Okay, so there is a chart, okay, and there are certain level of jaundice. Okay, okay. so so there are high risk zone like mm -hmm. the above graph. This is very high risk zone. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is moderate to low risk zone. This mm -hmm. zone moderate to low risk zone, mm -hmm. and this is risk free. Okay, okay. risk free zone. So uh, Ali has got uh, jaundice and you know the bilirubin is high and uh, Ali is in this moderate to low risk zone. Is okay. that clear to you so far? Yes, doctor, it is uh, clear to me. But uh, doctor, is it necessary to be in the hospital? Because what I just googled that uh, if we show baby to the sunlight, then also jaundice reduces. Then like the summer now, we can show a baby to the sun and we give in the morning sun, my baby can get cured. Let me go home. Yes, I appreciate your knowledge, uh, Alia. But the thing is, uh, uh, in Ali, uh, Ali is a very small baby, like he is only two days old. And uh, his uh, liver is not so much mature. And this bilirubin actually, uh, this get destroyed in the liver. And Ali is uh, Ali's liver is not so mature. So, if we release him today, and if you give him sunlight, his liver actually cannot take so much load. Okay, that's mm -hmm. why we are giving this special light that is not available at home. Mm -hmm. Do you agree that? Yeah, I agree, doctor. Doctor, but like uh, I can see, baby is uh, taking uh, milk properly. Baby is active. And I don't think, think uh, any issue is there with the baby. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
you are absolutely correct no, Ali is doing fine. Than... yes you are absolutely correct but as i said before that ali's liver cannot take the load so we are doctor from outside we are giving this special blue light that is called phototherapy that will reduce the bilirubin load in the blood Okay. Did you uh, understand this point, Alia? Yeah, yes, yes, doctor. I understand yes. this problem. But uh, what will happen? Like, uh, if I go home, uh, baby is active playing. Why you want to give this phototherapy? Okay, bilirubin, you want to decrease, that is fine. But what will happen if baby, uh, this bilirubin remains high? It will, uh, yeah, eventually, it will be okay, question. no? This, this is a very good question. I'm telling you that if the bilirubin is very high, it will go to the brain. And you know, Ali's brain is very immature. So what happened in this immature brain, if it get attacked by bilirubin, there'll be permanent damage. So do you want that? Oh, doctor, you're scaring me now. I'm so sorry that you are afraid, but this is, uh, if we do not treat Ali, but we are, uh, treating him and Ali is doing fine. So there is no chance that this bilirubin will go to the brain. But if we leave Ali now, right now, so then this there is a high chance of uh, getting this bilirubin into the brain. I hope it is clear to you now why we are keeping Ali here. But doctor, my concern is that you will take my baby away from me and then how will, how will I feed my baby? Yes. I appreciate that as a mom, this is your concern, but uh, we are giving Ali breast milk. Okay, in between the phototherapy, we will remove your baby and we will give him breast milk. Then we will again keep in the machine, phototherapy machine. Now, is that all right? But doctor, like what they mentioned, like, uh, see, this, minute. this blue light, we only cannot tolerate how this small baby will tolerate. Do you guarantee that there will be no side effect of this, uh, this blue light? Uh, well, every every procedure has some side effect. Uh, there is actually, uh, I appreciate that you are concerned, but uh, we are protecting your baby from uh, blue light by covering his eyes and covering his genitalia. You saw, right, this uh, covering? Yes, 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 I saw, doctor. But... Uh... Yes. Still, like, I would like to discuss this issue my, with my husband who is coming tomorrow. Then I can come back. Yes, you can discuss definitely. And uh, until then, uh, we are continuing Ali's treatment for the Ali's best uh, interest. This is best for Ali. Okay. I hope uh, I hope now uh, I can reassure you. Yeah, doctor. Yeah, maybe there's no other option then. Okay, I agree. Yes, thank you very much for understanding with us. And uh, let me summarize. Today we discussed about Ali's condition, that is neonatal jaundice. And for this, we are giving him phototherapy. And uh, um, you are assured that this phototherapy is very important uh, to reduce the bilirubin level. And here are some leaflets about neonatal jaundice uh, by which you can know the better about this condition. Is that okay, Alia? Mm, okay, fine, doctor. I'll go through them. Thank you. Thank you very much for visiting and giving me time. And uh, also, if you have any more queries, you are most welcome to ask us anytime. Okay, okay, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Okay, have Thank a nice day. Thank you. Time finished or no? Yeah, I think finished. <laughs> Long back. <laughs> One minute and ten seconds is still remaining. Okay. okay, I'm finished. Alhamdulillah. I was very worried six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dr. Tamanna, you did good. Uh, uh, actually, that uh, I was uh, prompting you to come to the brain damage. So, two times I prompted, then you come to that. Why the phototherapy is very important. No, permanent damage, I said. Yeah, permanent yeah, yeah damage. you said, but like uh, I, I have to prompt you. Uh, second time you came okay. to that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was good. I directly uh, took you to the treatment part. You, I did not give you a chance that to explain what is the bilirubin and all. You explained mm -hmm. the chart very nicely. Uh, after six minutes, like you were in too much hurry to wind up the things. Uh, 
yeah 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 actually even if you don't do summary and all those leaflet that doesn't matter the role player concerns okay. has to be addressed properly when i said like will it be okay if i talk to my husband and come back tomorrow then he said okay so you cannot send the child patient to that concern you no no i said that until then the child will be with us no no you <laughs> say okay. like child needs treatment uh, we have to act as early as possible uh, you can discuss okay. these things with your husband on phone because like this is the thing in which uh-huh. we we need to act fast because we don't want uh-huh. your child to get damaged yes yeah uh-huh. here you should you spend a little bit more time otherwise yes. overall approach and all what's good you did not ask attendant attendant hmm two day old da huh? two day old uh, normal delivery it's uh, need attendant attendant is need actually before delivery more and this is not a breaking bad news actually attendant we call it when okay. when there is a breaking That's bad okay. news pardon pardon agreed no no i i, I am asking you hmm. attendant we are calling when there is a breaking bad news number 1 like this is this is like a uh, baby explaining by a mother to that baby had jaundice with some serious comp- uh, implications like this can be some shocking for some mothers that's why i thought okay maybe okay. i'm wrong but, yeah plus minus but plus, plus minus. minus if you say attendant there will be no mm-hmm. no harm no harm but some yes. situation some situation attendance is a must like brain yes. death yes like cancer leukemia mm. like antenatally when you are counseling about 23 weeks yes 23 weeks and mm. ambiguous genitalia and a baby of 23 weeks down you are counseling breaking bad news yeah down syndrome in those situation if you don't ask about attendance mm. then it is minus or minus okay. point another is in hiv disclosing the hiv if you Not say attendance. attendance then this is minus yes no attendant <laughs> maybe even teenager also usually no attendant yes and another is if you are call, uh, talking with a difficult colleague about the yes, yes. you know difficult something issue between no you attendant. and her right. you cannot say attendance yes 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 you did good tamanna actually yes yes very nice yes, yeah. mm-hmm. i am not practicing communication no i am not practicing at, at all not at all <laughs> mm-hmm. but i am doing oet two things sorry tell me improve improve how yeah two uh, two three two or three points just i notice like you repeat uh, two times you said liver is immature and brain is immature i think that was not correct no uh, brain is immature i did not say liver is immature i said said brain your brain is immature and it may get damaged uh, do no, you no, want i said that it will go to your brain ali's brain and brain will be damaged if the bilirubin goes you, you said brain is immature but that's fine like we can accept okay that. i said okay okay, yeah. okay. So that may I be because it was probably your slip of tongue i very specifically noticed because brain is immature means you can uh, you know it's kind of uh, like uh, the Peter. opposite player can Peter. get something very bad reaction to that Mm-hmm. So that was one thing. Then sunlight, uh, like the answer for sunlight, uh, yeah, is that like was also like uh, sunlight rest. Hmm. Like if the if this uh, jaundice is mild, it can be handled by sunlight. But mm. in Ali's condition, we feel that the level is little bit high, and uh, less likely the sunlight will take care of that jaundice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. you at that time you were explaining on liver liver only two times you mentioned the same thing yeah. but the uh, response expected was like uh, if it is a mild jaundice sunlight is okay yeah, sunlight is okay, okay. Yeah. so it is not correct mm-hmm. is very tricky question yes sunlight part was very tricky question yes and i thought that liver actually did the uh, liver actually conjugates in sunlight also but in blue light it actually uh the become un- in uh, water soluble in the blood like what is the pathophysiology that's why i said that even if we give in sunlight liver cannot take the load but actually the answer is yes mild if it is mild variety then sunlight is okay but if it is moderate variety then sunlight is not okay yes you are right i should tell this line another thing dr tamanna once dr uh, you told 
to convince for the this admission and phototherapy then you told mm -hmm. for this damage and all that then you stated with do you want that uh, i think mm -hmm. uh, we should uh, scare the parents or the role right. player okay. but threat mm -hmm. to state away sounds like it looks bit awkward like uh, do you want that instead of that i think we can say uh, i think uh, we should involve or we should say like that i think we would not, uh, you can say in this lovely baby you you want uh, uh, you would not like that like that mm -hmm. yeah. like that you will not put your baby on harm i know yes mm -hmm. you are right mm -hmm. very careful we should be very careful yes any point any more point i am writing your points because this should be the answer but it was good very good uh, because uh, you are not practicing communication still you did so nicely i am not practicing yeah